A very good morning to you all. My name is Rorisan Tanegi. So, who and are I'm you? And I'm Ken Sinavas and welcome to it. You know, it's a jam-packed lineup. Jeng and Joyelo. Yeah. How else do you want to start your Saturday morning? So today we are talking about the new scented condoms that are going to yeah. eliminate the HIV rates, right? Of course, and a big one that's been in the news. Hashtag Occupy Literally House. We're also going to be breaking that down a little bit later on. Absolutely. And the a Grammy Award winning act. Lady Smith, Black Mambazo are here to blaze up the studio without any further ado let's go straight into it it's uh the news headlines check it out <laughs> this week south africa was shocked by the sad news of guaito legend mendoza's health after a tumor was discovered in his brain mendoza's wife mpochavalala has sent out a plea to the nation to include the family and the legend in their prayers Oh man, I heard this and it completely broke my heart. Uh, we can only just pray and support him like his wife requested. Absolutely. But it's really sad. Really, no, really man, sad. No, man, you know when you know somebody as a strong, rocking person? Galagata! Like, it's just weird. It's just like, nah. Yeah, too. Yeah, uh, we, we definitely do hope uh, he has a speedy recovery. Yeah. Moving right along, it's time for us to check out the second news story. It's Nasty C season, the Hell No Juice Back hit maker is said to be collaborating with US actor and musician Omarion Howick. Omarion told the newspaper this week that he was blown away by Nasty C and will be working on him on his upcoming album to be released in March 2017. Omari. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, geez, man. Uh, that's some big stuff popping. It definitely is a nasty C season. I know right? him as an actor, so I'm looking forward to seeing him as a musician. I my hope nasty that... Omar. No, Omari. Oh. I can look at that guy. What did he? Oh. I literally thought it was like Omarian. Yeah, changing Omarian. your life. We're moving right along to the next story. Zanzi Insider would like to call for calm and peace to the students and security forces of the UKZN protests. Let's work together to find a more peaceful resolution. Guys, we say this all the time on the show. I literally yeah. feel like I'm always preaching. If we're yeah. looking for a resolution, we need to go about it the right way. Yeah. Otherwise, we're only creating an even bigger problem. So they're piling up. Yeah, no, I think, I think, and it's dangerous, man. I think we're putting a lot of people's lives at stake. True. School, at the end of the day, after all hashtags, after all protests, you still have to get those marks. So make that a priority. Yeah. Now we have some news that dropped literally right now. Let's check it out. If you, if you look around these regions, it will be clear to you that this is Sir Musi Maimani. Yes. Also known as? What is that name of this? <laughs> Aloysius. Aloysius. What does Aloysius mean? If your name happens to be Aloysius, <laughs> or you know an Aloysius, please let us know what the originate, where, where that name originates from, Absolutely. and what it means. And um, yeah, Yo, Lucy? Lucy, Dad, you didn't tell us that you're Aloysius, are you? Okay, let's check out the next one. Eish. When leg day has been banged, Ricky Rick's legs make you me feel good. You gotta miss the disease and the miss. Legs. This is like Boom Shaga soundtrack in the background, and you see him doing you his thing while he's the eating knees. the godine. Um, all no. I'm just saying, Jay Z's gonna have a break, yo. No. Jay Z's no. gonna have a break. These legs, though, no. I love the socks, though, for what it's worth. It's Expensive. been great. Yeah, no. I like eating that cotton. Eat more cotton. You know, gain leg day. <laughs> right now, though, it is time for us to uh, go Wait, to one of social media. Let's go straight into it. Wait, ma. <laughs> Wait, 
Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, Yena Head, this past week was definitely in the news. A big rua. We all saw the videos and the clips as uh, he told, um, you know, all the MPs and introduced to them um, the new free scented condoms. And he outlined why they were doing this, that they were stepping up measures to prevent new HIV infections. And obviously, Parliament went berserk. Um, as if it doesn't always happen. No, but this was like a special <laughs> one. But then social media had many questions, um, and that's why we're diving deep into it right here on Hot Off Social Media. Joining us is Tato Chidirgare from the National Department of Health. And she's going to tell us a little bit more. Tato, you can come through. Come through. Welcome to our humble abode. <laughs> she looks like she comes bearing gifts for us. Hello. Yes, we're about that life. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. You okay. Go. Yeah. Tato, it's so great to have you on the show, uh, and it would be fantastic for us to get a little bit more light on yep. the situation. So, first things first, tell us about these new uh, sensor condoms. Right. Um, thank you for inviting me. So, we have launched four different types of condoms, and the name is Max for mm. Maximum. And as we may have heard from the Deputy President and from our other communication, it's maximum, maximum protection, mm. maximum pleasure, basically maximum everything. Mm. So we've got four scents. Don't tell us the scents because she's going to have to test them a little okay. bit later, right? Right. <laughs> uh, you, don't worry, we've got a surprise for you. Um, so is this initiative, do you think this is an initiative that will help um, yeah lower the HIV rates in our country? This is an initiative that will help HIV AIDS in the country lower the incidence of HIV AIDS because it is actually a response to the request, especially from young people mm. in South Africa. Okay, let's talk about, I mean, obviously it's been in the news, everybody has had different opinions, like Kat said, um, um, that Twitter also went crazy. Uh, a lot of people feel the money could have gone somewhere else, you know, sanitary pads, people spoke about poor communities, that this is another misuse of funds. W what's your guys' take on, on such statements? Uh, when we look at the prevalence of HIV in South Africa and the incidence, and we focus on particularly young people, you know, global data tells us that 7,000 young, young women and girls get infected with HIV on a weekly basis, and out of that, almost 2,000 is from South Africa. So sure, we try, so that, that's, that's, that's mm. scary. So when we look at HIV and we look at the fact that we don't have a cure at the moment, mm. prevention is the best way to go. Yeah. So condoms are mainly to really prevent infections with HIV, as well as other STIs as well as prevent unintended pregnancies. Mm. Because we know that starts again with the pregnancy, teenage pregnancies, and that could easily be avoided by the correct and consistent use of condoms. Mm. Yeah. Well, Tati, you do come bearing gifts. Uh, paper bag, it, uh. um, Should I take it out? Yes. <laughs> okay. You, Rory, are going to close your eyes because we are actually going to put this to the test. So. And my lashes are looking on fleek today, so yeah. So <laughs> she's we ready have the for that. Cents. Okay, pass them here. I'm gonna make her smell them, so right. she's gonna guess them. We're but not like, gonna don't like put it by by my nose. Okay. okay. I must say the packaging is like much better. It's an upgrade, you know. We chase some cool is, out it here. Is. Um, so here's the first one. Mm-hmm. I can't smell nothing. Smell it. Don't, <laughs> Don't be face. scared, smell. Guess. Ooh, it's like a banana thing. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's a good one. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, make it touch my nose, though. Here's the next one. And you don't okay. open a condom with your teeth. You open okay. it with your hand, is it? Right? Smell this one. Ooh, this one's Uh, I don't know. It's like a strawberry. It's like a hint of like vanilla-ish. It's Are sweet you... though. It's like a strawberry. I'm gonna go with strawberry. Let's Let me go get strawberry. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one. I, like yeah. I look like my cats when they're smelling for stuff. <laughs> you look like your cats. No, I don't when they are smelling for stuff. Okay. Yo. Oh. Here's the next one. I like this one. I've never seen one like this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that smells like. Like um. I don't know what that's No, smell, smell like. again. It's like, Gary, Chepisiani, Nikapo, stock sweet, man. Like, yeah. What flavor? I don't know, but like, there's like a sweet. Okay. 
Chucky then, thing to it. Okay, that is actually grape, my dear. Yes, I want to say that grape. Oh. I, I wanted to say that. Okay, and then this is the last one. Okay, I just feel like you're sticking it on my nose. My hands are so oily from this. It's clearly lubricated very well. Okay, this is like a vanilla. It's like a vanilla. Mm -hmm. Is it a vanilla? It is vanilla. It is? Yes. Yeah. You can open your eyes, eyes now. Eyes. <laughs> well, those are the different scents. Uh, you can smell them. So these condoms are oh, wow. scented and not flavored, right? Scented, not flavored. So yes. what is the difference? That means that if you put it on your tongue, you won't taste. Mm. Okay, you can cool. smell, but you won't taste. Can we say that um, it's inevitable that we are chasing cool as people because we want to make the condoms more appealing. Exactly. And that's about um, looking at what's happening around um, the country right now, right? Exactly. Okay. So, yeah. Um, if I can give you just a bit of background yeah, on how we arrived here, I think that would also be good for the listeners out there. You would remember that we're actually coming from Choice, the plain Choice. This is where we're coming from. Yes. yes. From the plain Choice. And then through our, our data, you would remember the report from the HSRC, Human Sciences Research Council, 2012, that was released in 2014, actually said that young people are not using condoms anymore. The use has gone down. So then the department, in response to this, conducted some perception studies, you know, research evidence base, so that we can see how we can respond and what are we responding to. So focal group discussions were conducted, qualitative studies were conducted with our partners, and what came up was that we need more variants. Yeah. Mm. You have your Durex with different colors, before, different Before scents. we speak about uh, the competition, Mm. It's not only for males, and mm. that is what we yeah. want to stress. You mm. have another one. Tell us a bit about the, the sponge a condom. We have female condoms as Bring well. Bring it out! And our are they called, female, are, are female condoms, sorry, I, I don't know. Are, are they called, what are they called? Our Semidoms. female condoms are femi femidoms. 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 They are not branded as yet. Okay. So the Department of Health okay. is distributing. I've never seen one. Can I open this you one? You can open that. Okay. Yes, we're here to educate and be educated. Ooh, that looks so big. <laughs> I never want to touch it. Oh my so how does gosh. it go? Okay, uh, there's a sponge really here. Yes. So, so how does this work? If you can hand it over. As that looks like, know, like an extra large condom. If we remember the anatomy of a female, yeah. we this thing has to go inside. Oh, so okay. that is why it looks like that. Okay. And this is to aid insertion. Okay. If we think of um, maybe something like a tampon, yes. that you have to put it inside. Yes. So basically, we just squeeze it and we insert. insert. It. Oh, so wow. the sole purpose of this is insertion, and then it stays like that. Oh, okay, on the cool. Opening. So we encourage Whoa. both men and women. We encourage both. So are the condoms, ladies also going to get like sense? I mean, condoms. sense soon. The department is working on that as well wow. to ensure that but we. But I definitely think government is that. doing what they can, but it's more about the mindset because these condoms are available, yeah. but mm. you need to change your mind and use the condoms right now. Yeah. We're going to a quick ad break. We'll be back. I learned about condoms today. Yes, you the channel locked on the insider. You know what it is, the insider. Welcome back. Uh -huh. We're a little bit late around. Woo, even got a horn for that. We'll be discussing hashtag uh, Occupy Lutuli House. We'll be discussing hashtag 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 In what world am I Gazi? All right. Um, with the history and banking, this fashionista turned her passion for fashion into a business that has had the likes of Mini Lamini going gaga over her items. Um, we have to recognize the slayage of Lungile Mambo, the founder of Geli Deli fashion brand. Welcome to Mzanti Insider. Thank you so much for having me. Let's 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 speak about the brand. First things first, are you decked out in it right now? Of course. Of you course. look I to. stunning. I had let's to. talk about the brand. What is the inspiration of it? Okay, so I'll just give you a background on the brand. Uh, we started three years ago. It was basically a hobby. I used to dress myself for work very well apparently, and uh, my manager started asking me to dress her. I started shopping for her. And then eventually I was like, okay, I actually th uh, think I need to start making clothes for these people. Yeah. And that's how basically it started. So do you uh, do a lot of like corporate wear? 
No, not necessarily. So for corporate wear, it will be stuff that we focus on at the beginning of the year when people are going back to work and they want to buy your formal clothes uh, for their first day at work. So that's what we, we, we do at the beginning of the year. But throughout the year, we just make clothes according to the seasons, really. Mm. Yeah. Let's, let's describe the typical Gelly Deli woman. Oh my gosh, okay, so a typical Gelly Deli woman, someone who's classy, someone who's stylish, and someone who knows uh, how to dress for a body. Mm -hmm. We try and really accommodate all types of bodies. Um, so you'll see our range. I will show you a couple of garments just now, mm -hmm. and you'll see that uh, they will really work for any type of body. Well, you know I love me a good fashion <laughs> show, so without any further ado, let's go straight into it. Let's see the first look that you have for us. Oh, lady, looking lovely, you can come through. Woo! Yes! Now, now tell me about this look. So Zandi is wearing our floral dress, uh, midi dress, uh, for our spring range. Um, mm -hmm. So this dress he has pockets, uh, it's midi length. As you can see, Zandi is a bit on the curvy side. It mm. still looks very good on her. So um, yeah, she could uh, dress it. <laughs> she could, uh, the dress actually opens up in the, in the front. You could take off the piece oh, and have okay. uh, yeah, like a nice sexy cleavage nice. Uh, version. Yeah, so that's, that's it about the that's dress. That's a really, really good one. A nice one, Zandi. Where would you wear this to? This, I think now it's a wedding season. So uh, everyone nice. wants to wear a nice bright outfit. Uh, you can wear it to your year end function. Definitely. You can wear it at church. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Let's see the next one. Loving this color. Yeah. We're seeing the clouds. What do you think, Rory? I absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's like, hello. Yes. Spring, summer is here. <laughs> Tell us about this look. So I love making maxi dresses, as you can see, I'm also wearing my one. Okay. Um, so I actually wanted to make a shorter version because you find a lot of people saying, uh, I'm short, I don't really look nice in maxi ah. dresses. So I'm trying to accommodate them here by making a nice, short, playful version for them. So okay. this is also part of our summer range. For this this is a shortened maxi dress. Yeah. Thank you so much, you look fantastic. Um, Gorgeous. Now let's just speak about um, uh, where we can get a hold of your stuff. Okay, so we have a store in Maboneng, uh, 261 Main Street uh, in Johannesburg. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram where you can see our range. Uh, our Instagram page is Gelly Deli Fashion, one word. Uh, and you can also visit our website and see our items and shop directly from there. The website address is www.gellydeli.co.za. All right, and we can buy it all online. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming to chat to us. You look stunning. Thank and you. And you dressed up the fashion <laughs> corner. You decked it out. Thank you so much. Well, that is it from uh, Fashion on Fleek right now. It is time for us to go behind the story. All right, interesting times. They look so beautiful, those clothes. I know. You owe me a birthday present. But moving Shut along man. with something that's been in the news, of course, Ribua Guy hashtag Occupy Lutuli House. Uh, um, and um, ANC got the shock of their lives uh, these past elections when they saw that, uh, you know, didn't quite go as planned. And we saw that uh, there was a bit of a fraction and division within the party. Half of the party or some of the parties uh, believe that, uh, you know what, it's time to hand over a memorandum letter to say, maybe it's time for change. And um, they, this side of the protest could be known as hashtag uh, literally house. And the other side, papa, and they call themselves hashtag defend literally house. I'm oh, just wow. saying, what's going on? Like Nine I'm listening to myself so talk, rusty and I'm like, one. what's going on? And to help us unpack, because I knew <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> have this discussion with him. We have Busisiwe, no stranger to Mzanti Insider. She yes. is a broadcast journalist, and she's here to unpack. Hi. Good to be back. Thank How you are so you? much for having me. Last time you were like yellow and bright. Yes, yes. And Manda, you were just like flicking. <laughs> yes. You know, she could have just modeled as well. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, Look, yes, I mean, the past, past week has been really interesting for us uh, journalists because you have um, Young Lions, as they call themselves, so that is the ANC Youth League, basically publicly reprimanding the mother body, so the elders, mm -hmm. right? And uh, top of their list of demands is for the uh, 
resignation of President Jacob Zuma, yeah. as well as the NEC to step aside. So they basically saying that they have a problem with um, just the caliber of leadership mm -hmm. uh, in the country, and they feel that the ANC needs to be more modernized. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it has to have a more youth appeal. But of course, there are more deeper um, yeah. um, issues that uh, uh, go down to uh, the issues of structures. So how do ANC uh, members um, a voice out their frustrations, yeah. you know, mm. and and I mean that question has always been asked as to why didn't they do it internally? Why organize hashtag yeah. you know Occupy Lutuli House? Are yeah. they trying to get um, um, just you know recognition or are they seeking for attention? Or and are they rallying up more people to back it up so that it has more weight? Is this history repeating itself? I mean, we saw this uh, a couple of years ago with uh, uh, the former <laughs> president Thabo Mbeki. Mm. Are we playing in the same space? Um, I think I just would rather look at it from the ANC Youth League perspective mm -hmm. as opposed to, you know, a more the national, bigger body, yeah. uh, the bigger body. Okay. And I mean, we saw um, the then president of the ANC Youth League, Julius Malema, a few years back, uh, hosting a few protests. And one was in 20, I think 11, uh, where he led a two day march uh, for what he called economic freedom. Yeah. And what he basically said was that the uh, mother body needs to uh, look at, relook you know itself and have self introspection mm. um i mean because remember whatever happens in the anc or the ruling party affects every single uh young person mm. out there that's what i want to know how, yeah. how does it affect us I mean, essentially, the because of how our politics is structured, um, whatever decisions that the mother body takes ultimately affects us because essentially they are in power. Mm. That's why you would have, you know, civil society, several NGOs joining the hashtag Occupy Lutuli House group, you know, saying that, okay, well, actually, maybe number one, no, President Jacob Zuma is a problem. And they saying that he is because, um, you know, several uh, decisions that have been taken in the past appear to be, uh, it, it looks as if, you know, members of the NEC or members of the ANC mm. are protecting uh, President Jacob Zuma. Okay. So, so I mean, it's, it's um, issues related to factionalism. Mm. The, what came out for me is the divisions within the ANC, obviously, yeah. the divisions within the ANC Youth League itself, because mm. they're not perfect. And I personally feel like it, it, these divisions were probably even there before they yes. Of course, of and course. And it's just that the elections are a nice platform for them to Absolutely. come to the front. And that's, what yeah. does this do for the ANC? What does this mean? What light does it show them in? That's a very interesting question because when 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 the the hashtag Occupy Lituli House group went and wanted to hand over a memorandum to uh, the group, obviously uh, he came out with you know two copies of of the ANC Constitution. It was like, listen. Really, this is the ANC constitution. You know, do things the right way. We are not suppressing, you know, your your frustrations. Um, yeah. um, we are not um, disencouraging you from from you know yeah. expressing it, you but do it, it the right way. Uh. Um, so so I mean, it's a huge dent um, in, uh, from a perspective of you know us looking at what's happening within the party from you know the outside. Yeah. Mm. But um, I think at this point, the the ANC. Um, it's like a household, if I could make that analogy uh, okay. very quickly, you know, mm. where you are literally, where you literally have um, uh, your children um, reprimanding you in front of people, you know, oh. where you have mm. a, a child you basically get a telling a parent yeah. that, you know, don't do this, mm. you know, so I think uh, that's the best way to look at it. But it would be pretty interesting how things sort of unfold. Absolutely. Because the Occupy Lutuli House group says they don't want to dismantle the ANC. How it's not I? a revolt. Uh, you you know, know, with um, politics, we can speak <laughs> and never finish. Yeah, yeah. I think but it's because there's always underlining things, so absolutely. we always have to unpack those. But thank you so thank much for you coming so to hang out and packing with us. Hashtag Busi was here. How yes. about that? It's time for us to take a quick ad break. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. Welcome back into Lena Ham's Anti Insider. It's time for some sports. I'm hanging out with the big dogs. You know what I'm talking about. Joe Man is in the house. And Hata Oh, oh, I Joe Man. Oh, he gets again. the horn. Again, again. <laughs> again, you know, 
levels. I think you you started to to step up. Atamale Munkaje and Otamale Siseki Itswing, who is currently a business director, Kwana who the Vodacom Rugby at Open Field in Johannesburg, and is joining us in studio. Hello. Hey. Rosa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Utsule hantagaje. Utsule. Utsule. I love it. Tell me what do you have for us in store today? Yeah, well, I just wanted to just have a little bit of a quick wrap of what's happening in the sports before we get into the interview. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, the Paralympics have started, so that's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, we've already won our first gold medal, which is great. Uh, Kevin Paul uh, managed to win in the 100 meter breaststroke, so that was great as well. Yes. Yesterday was the last meeting of the IAAF, uh, the Diamond League, and Luvo Manyonga and Costa Semenya managed to do better than what they did even at the Olympics. Costa Semenya ran a 400 meter time. Uh, she ran 50.42 seconds, which was a personal best for her, and she actually won the race, which is wow. great to see. Nice. So, well done, Casta, well done. <laughs> and then uh, Manyonga also managed to win his event as well. Uh, he jumped 8.48, and that was also a personal best for him. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, I know you love sports as well, and I'm sure you were checking some of the Olympics out and maybe even the Paralympics, but just tell us a little bit about your love of sports and, uh, you know, how it got you into what, exi what it is exactly that you're doing now. Look, I mean, growing up in Mamilodi, every kid played soccer. We played on the streets. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so I've been playing sport all my life. Soccer, cricket, rugby, a little bit of athletics, basketball. Yeah. So yeah, um, growing up uh, in high school, I ended up playing provincial for soccer and for cricket. Okay. And really, I just wanted to see where sport could take me in the future. And, and obviously, like, you know, in terms of on the field, you know, it's obvious the kind of careers that you can get into when you do play and you do end up becoming a professional. But, you know, obviously we, we went to university and some of us are Rafeta, but, you know, we still got experience there. So what was it that, that, that made you say, you know, let, let me actually choose uh, this direction? Because I know I found radio when I was in university and I'm sure you found, you know, your sports career as well. And it was different from what you were studying. How did you get into that? Well, I mean, I started off starting, uh, studying accounting sciences, mm. but that didn't mm. work out. Mm. Uh, mm. Ended up doing marketing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ended up doing marketing, and and somehow I just found sport and marketing mixing together, and, yeah. and that's where I am. So. I'm very blessed to be able to combine my passion for sport yeah. with my passion for marketing also. All right, and, and in terms of your job now, I mean, you, you know, it says here that you're a rugby director and obviously, you know, just working in rugby, you've worked before at another, you know, some of the bigger agencies in the country. So what does your job entail? What does a, what, what does a brand director do, a business director do? Uh, basically, I take care of, of sponsorships on behalf of brands. Yeah. Uh, in the past, I've worked uh, on the APSA Premiership, MTN8, uh, the Bafana Bafana okay. for different brands, MTN, EPSA and Castle. Uh, right now I'm with um, Vodacom okay. where I manage the rugby portfolio for Vodacom uh, which is the Super Rugby, Vodacom Super Rugby, yeah. the Springboks and the Vodacom Bulls. So, 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 so what exactly do you do now? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, you know, what is your job in terms of yeah. so, well, branding? How we are going to make or make sure the electronic boards, just panel, you do, or an electrician, or better than land? Sometimes, uh, you know, you do what you got to do. <laughs> but uh, basically, we put together the strategy to make sure that what, whatever the, the consumer sees, whatever you're seeing on TV, the Vodacom brand is taken care of. It is using the sponsorship appropriately to yeah. achieve business uh, objectives. Yeah. And and, and, and and you know, like, so then how does your passion for sport kind of tie into that? Because yeah. obviously it involves a lot of traveling as well. And you know, so, so basically you're like a soccer player, but behind the scenes. A less but famous soccer player. A yeah. less famous soccer <laughs> player. But trustworthy. Unfortunately, yeah. my guys, we have run out of time. But thank you so much for joining and sharing to us. Um, you see that there are other avenues. And I think that's what you're trying to bring across, yeah, exactly, Joe, that yeah. you don't, we don't all have to run or pass the ball. There Somewhere are other opportunities. You can get involved. Oh, wow. Who yeah. said I can't run? Joe, man, is just like throwing shade. I can't like I kiss, kiss. Uh, kiss, kiss, okay. is back in the situation. It's fine. Love you guys. But right now, speaking about running and getting fit, we've got more in store for you. Katty Guo on Stand by for you guys. Enjoy. Hi there, this is Serenity. I'm a Bikram Yoga instructor. Catch me on Zanzi inside of the Saturday.
been devastating folks on social media with her supernatural back-breaking moves. She remains the ever-flexible Bebeti Makhalimele. Welcome. Thank are, you. Are you still like zoning in your yoga? Yeah. Um, moves that you can't <laughs> even recognize. First yes. things first, um, welcome to the show. You're going to be schooling you. us on something different. Usually what we do here, Sachiima, you know, yeah. and wait. So exactly what is yoga? Okay, yoga is a workout of the mind, body, and soul. So you have that connection of mind, body, and soul as you work out. You don't, it's, 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 it's not a um, high impact kind of exercise. Yes. So you do tone, strengthen your body, and you build flexibility as well. A lot of people who do weights and stuff and run and cycle, yeah. they don't do a lot of stretching. With that, then their muscles uh, you know, st are sh shorter, they're shortened. With yoga, you elongate, you strengthen, oh, wow. you know, you avoid injuries, you heal injuries with yoga. So can I like bunk the gym for the rest of the year and just do yoga? <laughs> no, no, you don't have to. Yoga is a lifestyle. Okay. So you have to do that for the rest of your life. I don't know if you'll be able to lift your weight until you're 95. Let's hope. Yeah, but then with yoga, you can do it forever so you don't i'm not saying to anybody to stop what they're doing okay include yoga in your everyday life okay well let's get straight into it i want to learn so you, you say it's recommendable to do it uh, barefoot right yeah so i'm gonna just keep my uh, socks on because my toes ain't on fleek for the television game you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm already Take in a pose i'm so ready <laughs> let's start <laughs> All right, I'm going to start you with a breathing exercise, okay. preparing you for class that's going to relax you and warm your body inside out. Okay, okay, bring your feet together, heels and toes are touching. Interlock your fingers and glue them under your chin. Relax shoulders, look forward. Just listen to me, you don't have to look at me. Relax shoulders, look forward. As you inhale, you bring your head down, your elbows up towards the ceiling, elbows up, framing your face with your forearms. Now exhale, you push your head back with your knuckles, push your head back, way, way back. Bring your palms together, your wrists together, your elbows touching away from the chest. Now inhale, head down, elbows up, you do it as slow as possible, slowly go, do better. Elbows are up, warming your body from the inside, elbows are up towards the ceiling. Exhale, head back, mouth wide open. Inhale, head down, elbows up. Now stomach is in, thigh muscles are contracted. Keep inhaling, keep inhaling, keep inhaling. Exhale, head back, last one, HA. Change, now bring your arms by your side. Now arms over the head, palms together, interlocked fingers, release index fingers, thumbs crossed, chin away from the chest, arms stay with the ears, look forward. Take a deep breath, now move your body right, left, right, left, right, left. Feel the stretch on both sides of your body. Right, left, okay. right, left. How far am I going? <laughs> that's fine, that's okay. fine. No competition, no expectations. You do as much as you can. Just okay. listen to your body. Now stop in the middle and we set it up. Push your hips a bit forward. Wait a little bit on your heels. Chin away from the chest, arms stay with the ears. Take a deep breath. Now try to touch the ceiling in an absolutely straight line. Bend your body to the right. Don't bend your elbows or your knees. Now feel that stretch on the right side of your body. Chin away from the chest, arms stay with the ears. Hips a bit forward, upper body back. Weight on the heels. Suck your stomach in, calm down, push. You're toning and trimming your waistline here. Calm down, push, push, push. <laughs> Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. Take a deep breath. Full lungs, try to touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line. Bend your body to the left. I literally feel like I'm doing sit-ups now. <laughs> Hips a bit forward, <laughs> upper body back. Most important, keep breathing in and out by the nose. Keep your mouth closed. I'm the only one who's supposed to talk here. Okay. <laughs> Hips forward, upper body back, weight on the heels. Suck your stomach in some more, come down, push and push and push. Whoa. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. Now arms by your side. Keep breathing in and out by the nose, mouth closed. Now let's try some um, balancing, okay. shift weight to the right. I want to learn like some extreme poses, like... There we go. How do I impress I'm just my warming. <laughs> warming you up. Now shift weight to the, to the uh, left. Okay. Right leg lifts up, stuck stomach in, look forward. Now grab your fingers, grab your big toes, 
Yeah, All the toes? I can see where this All is your coming. toes. <laughs> uh, okay. Now look forward. Make sure your standing leg is locked. Pull your kneecap into your thigh. Thigh muscle is contracted. Look forward, chin forward. Okay. Are you balancing? Yes. Stomach is in, you're protecting your lower back. Okay. <laughs> come okay. back, come this back, come back. This is crazy. Let's do it. So Okay, suck so stomach in, look forward. Yeah. Once you have your balance, lift your leg up. Okay. Yes, lovely. Ah! <laughs> you're cramp, Madge. You're dehydrated. That's all it is, yeah. Alright, let's speak mm. about uh yoga who batumabansu because it's a it's a new thing relatively. Because we always thought it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yes, is of it, course. Is it a growing thing? It is a growing thing. It is, um, a lot of people think it um, has anything to do with religion. It's not. Whatever you believe in, you will be, you know, intense into mm. it. So it is, at the moment, I'll say it's just exercise. Just try it. Okay. It's a new thing as we try new things. Try it. Well, thank you so much if. for coming through. Uh, I'm going to continue trying, so let's do it. While you guys go to ad break, I'm going to master the art. Okay, pull your yoga. kneecap into your thigh. Stomach again, look forward, chin forward. Slow down. <laughs> oh, I'm never going to get it. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. Hey, hey, what you know about that? Welcome back. I don't know where that came from. Welcome back, Kim Zanz Insider. Still hanging out with Kat. It's about that time. What are we, what are we doing? Um, we're about to do a top five right now, mm. but what's a little bit of a top five without a little bit of a spice? Masha a comedian extraordinaire. <laughs> okay, so we have a challenge for ourselves today. Yeah, can we go backstage with Lady Smith, Black Mambas? Yeah. I why you picture the ladies. Autograph. Why you picture the ladies? Lady Silver. Lady. Oh, okay. Smith. Smith. Oh, okay. Anyway, how good are you with guessing pictures? Ah, Kisha, we just that Kisha Pitori, so split out some little Wi Fi. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay, well, it's again, it will bring you up we'll to speed. You so, I, what I, we're going to be doing now is yeah. checking out some uh, word memes, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's go straight into it. I see myself on the television. What's that? You do it. Triple of us. Somebody's not pressing it? their party. Uh -huh. Oh, that is so cool. We've got like six Mashabella. What do you do when things? Okay, Keep there going. it is. Yeah. Try it. 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 Girls oh, this one goes like this. So one, sell us a and then the bottom one, and then mbete, and then that okay, one. Okay, cool. Baba wa all the time. Kurba la tli. Ero kuchu e tse kuri kiri. Sheba ki wa. Aba makuwa a abina aba. You know aba guys. Aba. And then bafana. Dancing queen. Aba I'm not, I'm not the target market. Aba papa. <laughs> Base. Yeah. Ki base. Yeah. Afro. Aba fana base af. Oh, are you not the target Yeah, market? no. Hey, Wi-Fi is gone. <laughs> Next picture, please. Ah. Should I do this one? I can do this. Okay, let's no, go, go back go, to the go first back, one. Go back. So I can help my Sharela. Look okay, at him. Yeah, Music. No, no. no Musa. That's Nomsa name. No Musa. No Musa. No Musa. I ain't falling. For. For. But about fish I go Wi-Fi. Hey, yeah, fish are Wi-Fi. <laughs> but what are they? Okay, let me give you that. No more sound, oh, no more sound. Uh-huh. A ratchet, I think babes is the ratchet. No, no, don't call it ratchet. No, she likes. I don't have an anametric, but let's come meet a ratchet. Next picture, please. <laughs> are you ne done with I'm this? I'm done with this one. <laughs> Next one. Okay, cool. This is? Uh, shoes. Uh-huh. Moshwe. <laughs> because we rely on Mushu. That's Maya Angelo. So shoe. Call him Bobo Like I don't know. I can't call him Maya Angelo, but shoe Maya Angelo. Shoe Maya. I got that right. Am I right? Shoe Maya. Okay, last one. 
Oh lord. Mashavela, you're doing terribly at this. Okay. Next one, you've got to get this one. Choko ya how ibu bebe. Amen. How did you right guess there? that? No, but that's a uh, product placement right there. Free advertising for choko. <laughs> Now we're gonna speak to Lady Smith Black Mamba so you can stick around. Why little ladies Let's go straight into it. A special some party. Awesome, awesome stuff. Let's rectify. Is it ladies or is it Lady Smith Black Mambazo after Lady Smith the town? Yes, it's Lady Smith Black Mambazo, named after the town Lady Smith. Please tell us why is that? How did the name come about? Lady Smith is where we were born and then we went to Durban. When we come to Durban, yeah. we wanted people to know us that we are coming from Lady Smith. Also, yes. yeah. yes. mm. Beautiful uh, stuff. Well, Baba, you guys have won Grammys. So yes. that's a totally different ball game uh, to our country, you know what I'm saying? Because you guys are international. In it sets you guys apart. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit. You guys have sold over a million copies of your album in the UK. What Were you guys expecting this couple when you heard? Was it like a shock? I can't even fathom mm. that. Kurakinana, over one million in another country. How did you feel when you heard the news? I was a kid, but I was a kid. I was a kid, I was a kid, and I was a kid. I was a kid, and I was a kid. I was a kid, and I was a kid. I was a kid, I was a kid, and I was a kid. So, I was a kid, and I was a kid. Mm. So, yeah. Was this a kid, and I was a kid, and I was a kid. Such a heritage. Such a history, yeah. Was this a kid? I get your visa cool, especially Tina, see Nabafu to see Kulekas Velestula, Ubabes Tulis and Jalo, as Fundi Sukula. So Gubelu Lamanga, this is sick finalist joining the Black Mambazo, this Katama Yama members retire in ninety three. So Kosek Balulak, but you just have Visa Kulu, who turned and Obago Ning a sick fundio, Mangabis Hamba Nabo Baba, in Tilinis and Tabasco Trilazo. Yeah, Baba, um. A word of encouragement to everybody. Like I see, you guys have now got a mix of this young, this old. What would you say? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't qualify. Do? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do my audition as we go to ad break. This is Omjela Guti. Nija. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. No, I'm right. I I'm in, ladies. My black man, Baza. Bobby, I was the Kulum and Jay. I was too long. I told him. I am part of ladies. My black man, Baza. Yeah. You're leaving me. Keep the channel locked on with the insider. You know what it is. It's the insider. <laughs> Every time we come back from the break, <laughs> Umutu Upida, he had different personalities. Because you linked out with like a vibe. Babe, I'm so legit. I'm, I'm part of Lady Smith Black Mambazo. Marasiko oh, Lapo. Wow. Enough about us and what we can do. This is an opportunity for you. Hit us up on Twitter. Yes, wait for it. Spring Fiesta is around the corner, which means you can win two tickets. Uh, do the right thing. Hit us up. Uh, let us know why you want to go and which one of us are you going to take. And then maybe you don't know. It could be you. Well, without any further ado, right now it is time for my group to start performing without me. I'm sitting out on this one. We Let love you guys. Black Mambazo. We out of here, baby. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh,
yang mangalisa, loko ke, lo yang mangalisa, mangi, mangi boni dalala, ei shali, na pansi wamchuzi, lo yang mangalisa, how, 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 aibusa, aibusi kamala, aipendulanga, aipendulanga, ya pe ya pansi, ya se ya kala, Oh, <laughs> 